دوستان عزیز بله اومدیم با یه برنامه دیگه وی آی پی با پژمان آقا بله اومدیم و این هفته رفته بودم پرمیر برنامه فالینگ سکایز رو برنامه تی ان تی و این خود برنامه خیلی بزرگ شده الان چند نفر چند میلیون اصلا بیلیون دارن نگاه میکنم دارن نگاه میکنم و ما تلویزیون اندیشه رفتیم اونجا با چند تا هنرپیشه حرف زدیم که ببینیم دیگه این برنامه از چیه بیا با من توی شهر بیولی هیلز ببینیم با کی حرف زدم بریم سلام بیدندگان عزیز بله رسیدیم با یه برنامه دیگه وی آی پی با پژمان برای تلویزیون اندیشه بله و آمدیم پیلی سنتر توی شهر بیولی هیلز برای تلویزیون پرمیر برنامه فالینگ سکایز و اگه پوی سرم میبینی چند تا نقاشی های هنرپیش های بزرگی هستن که اون وقتا بودن یعنی ریدا هیورد، شرلی تمپو، میلن منرو بله و ما هم اومدیم که با چند تا هنرپیش خودمون حرف بزنیم و دیگه با من خوش بگذره و دیگه میدونیم با تلویزیون برنامه اندیشه با وی آی پی با پژمان همیشه خوش میگذره بریم ببینیم با کیا حرف میزنیم Falling skies opens six months into what has been a devastating invasion from an alien culture. We're fighting for our Earth. Uh, we don't know what they want, but we're not going to just give it up. Ultimately, it is about human survival. Now that the reset button has been pushed, if we had to start over and these survivors became the architects of the next civilization, how would you do it? Who are you when you are in the most painful, dire situation? What kind of person are you? Are you someone who gets up and fights and has hope? This is about how to try to retain your sense of humanity when just about everything is being taken away from you. I know that they don't want us here. Not any of us. Skitters came after us like locusts. All they wanted were the kids. We're gonna split up, we're gonna run, and we're gonna survive. I just want everything back the way it was. It's gonna get better. Things change. Some things don't. today who created this show, the executive producer. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, by the way. Uh, you're welcome. And so tell us for our viewers, Falling Sky, where did this concept of the show even come from? Well, Steven Spielberg and Robert Rodat, uh, Steven Spielberg you know, Robert Rodat uh, wrote Saving Private Ryan, uh, got together about three years ago and had an idea for an alien invasion show. Uh, brought it to Michael Wright at TNT, and uh, that's how it started. Um, they shot the pilot. Wow, two years ago now, and then we shot the first season of the show last year, uh, wrapping in November, and now you're seeing our, our first season. Wow, 
You know what? I must say, I haven't seen the show yet, but I've seen like 10 previews because I love the channel TNT, so it's a great channel to be the show on. But tell us, because I've seen the previews, and it's kind of like a... I, I, what's the storyline behind it? What's going on? Well, in the show, uh, there's been an alien invasion of Earth, and, and I think what makes our show a little different than other inv alien invasions is that we pick up six months after the main thrust of the invasions happened. Eighty percent of the people are gone, all electricity is out, um, all uh, communications are down, so there are people in a really bad place, and, and six months in, our story is about the beginning of a resistance movement, the formation of a resistance, both so people can find comfort in numbers and in each other, but also so they can figure out a way to fight back against the aliens. And it's a big task, obviously. Imagine if that happened to L.A. Uh, wow. I yeah, I, I'd leave. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> this whole place is uh, oh, like surrounded around batteries. Right. So it's a big city. Right. But tell us, are there any other programs you're going to be executive producer of? Anything else coming up in your career? Uh, I don't know yet. You know, I, I take one thing at a time. I've worked on a lot of science fiction shows, and Falling Skies was, was a great experience. And, uh, you know, I don't know what's coming next, so we'll see. Well, I am rooting for you, and I'm going to tell everybody at ATV, watch the show. Yes, they should. Exactly. On what? TNT. Absolutely. really mad at this guy right now because he's wearing the same thing that I am. Wow, we are pretty close. Exactly. <laughs> See, but we're going to mistake us for twins. I mean, if you're lucky. If I am lucky, yeah. If yes. you're lucky. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are here with? Uh, Drew Roy. So he wasn't even ready for that. He's like, you should already know my name before I come I here. I know who we were going to be plugging right there. I was like, oh, we talked about me, you guys. Well, right now you're the star. And how does that feel? Feels good. Feels it, feels, it feels really good. Yeah, right? You're at the Pele Center yeah. for the premiere of Falling Sky. Pretty cool. Yeah. And what, tell us, what that, what is that show about? What is? I, I heard a lot about electricity going down, aliens. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, uh, it's taking place six months after an alien invasion. You know, pretty much uh, we're set back two or three hundred years. And uh, we're trying to deal with aliens. You know, aliens have, have uh, occupied Earth. And uh, we're trying trying to band together to fight back, but we're just normal people like you and I, and now we have guns and, you know, trying to fight. Are you a believer of aliens? You know, the universe is huge. It seems like something's out there, but until I see something, nah, I don't think so. I bet the homeless man down the street believes in aliens. I'm sure you can find yeah, many. I'm sure he'll be watching. He'll probably tell you some stories about how he met him, too. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, I'm, I'm excited for this show because it's like a great concept. I saw the previews on, on TNT. It's kind of like when I saw Super 8. I was like, what is this about? But I want to see it. Yeah. And honestly, I want to tell everyone to tune into this show. It's great. And so how old are you? Uh, on the show or in real life? In real life. 25. 25 years old. He's two years older than me. I'm 23 right now. Really? Exactly. I know. I look like I'm 30. I don't know what it is about <laughs> me. But anyway, though, so what else is coming up in your career we should look forward to? Uh, auditions. Auditions. There we it's go. It's mysterious right now. Yeah, we'll exactly. see. We'll see the what's next, next. The next Troy on High School Musical. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You know you can uh, beat Zach okay. up. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything like that. <laughs> and, so, and so tell us about your character in the show. Hal's pretty awesome. He's, uh, he's a, well, he's 16 what's and his name 17. Again? Hal. 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 And when I first heard his name was Hal, I was like, uh, I don't think I've ever met a Hal. But uh, I've grown to love it. It's so interesting and, and peculiar. You're, like, you you're know, like running out of things to say about the name. Well, you don't really meet many Hal's, but yeah, it's been great. Yeah. And, and he's, uh, you know, he's a 17-year-old kid, and he's fighting back, but he's... Uh, you know, he's still trying to learn how to become a man, even though he's a kid. He's in this leadership position, and the aliens have taken his brother. And, uh, you know, he has a couple of love interests, little love triangles, which is always Ooh. fun to play. Yeah. Well, you know what? Honestly, the show's got a lot of concepts. It's got, we don't really usually deal with aliens, but a lot of people deal with love triangles. So it relates to a lot of people. Not me. Don't look at me. Like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. But. <laughs> so tell us, in the show, how old are you? Uh, 17. 17, so he can pull off someone seven years under your age. That's what we're trying to do. See, that's yeah. what you're meant to be an actor. When you can pull off an age over and under your age. But well, I think they like more in the acting industry somebody who looks younger than what they actually look like, yeah, right? Yeah, I think the logic is you bring more wisdom to the role, maybe. Awesome. I don't know. And then also, if you employ a 17-year-old actor, you, you have to deal with child labor laws and whatnot. So it just gets difficult. You can only shoot so many hours and whatnot. We are 
We're here with Colin Cunningham. And I was rude to him because he came up to me with the handshake and I'm like, wait till the camera rolls. I'm still waiting on it. But let's do another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. Nice to meet you. And you know what, let me ask you something. Sure. I'm really mad at this guy. He came so casually. Why couldn't I do that? I tell you, I've been doing all these red carpets and I've got the jacket and the nice and the tie and the vest. And, and you got the chain for all the ladies who want to grab you in. Yeah, like, and I thought, you know what? See, like, let's see the chain. Let's see the chain right here. See, you got the chain right here for all the ladies out there who want to grab him and just pull him to them. But I'm just, I'm taking it easy today. California exactly. cool. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to relax. I'm going to show and have a exactly. good time. Awesome. And so you are on Falling Skies as your character's name was John Hope? John Pope. John Pope. John See, I didn't do my research. Yeah, no, it's John Pope, not Pope John. Oh, okay. You gotta, that's, that's, a, that's a big difference. And so tell us about your character, because in the sheet, well, let's get the sheet right now. Let's get the sheet right now. You see this? He's got, he's got long hair in the picture. In the picture, long hair. So what, what's the reason for the haircut? Yeah, no, I get to, on the show, I put in the extensions, and I got the beard, Ooh. and the tattoos, and the whole nine yards. Yeah, so wow. it's, it's, I love doing characters, man. So it's, awesome. I, and I got a great part of the show, so I'm, I'm loving it. And what is your character, like your personality on I'm the show? I'm a bit of a badass. Oh, a badass. Yeah, so he's uh, kind of a biker renegade, a bit of the wild card on uh, on Falling Skies. It's great. Awesome. And what's, what, what does he do? Like, is he related to anyone in the show? Well, or? He's kind of uh, grist for the mill, I'd call him. He's, he's not entirely a good good guy, he's not necessarily a bad guy, but he's, um, you know, when, when it comes to war and all this crazy stuff that's going on, he's like, oh, I'm just gonna chill, y'all handle that, y'all can get the aliens. <laughs> well, the one thing about John Pope, he loves killing skitters, he loves killing the aliens, so he can be of uh, great benefit to the second Massachusetts wow. in that way, yeah. And so how was he cre um, related to the character of Noah Watt? Um, well, basically, I take, in the beginning, I take him captive, and then he ends up turning the tables and he ends up taking me captive, so, uh, so that's kind of how it and works. You know what? I, saw f I saw like 50 previews of this show. Like I'm excited to see it on TNT, one of the biggest channels. And so is there anything else coming up in your career? or? Ooh, well, they picked it up for a second season, which I'm totally already very, wow. very happy about. Wait, so has it, even, it hasn't even aired yet, right? Uh, it's going too soon. It's aired six. <laughs> Six episodes. In five or six episodes. There's been five or six episodes. I need to catch up. Please tell me you guys have YouTube recording. Look at him. He's like laughing at me. I'm just going to walk away. I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, know, it's been airing. He put me on blast. No, this is what you got to do. You got to. on TV. You, I know, but you got to come up to me privately and say, listen. <laughs> It's aired five or six times. You gotta catch up. <laughs> so I won't have to be on blast in front of my viewers. And so um, the second season to come up, is it the same like relation to the first season or anything different? Well, let's hope and we'll find out. I know they're writing scripts right now, so I honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I'm just hoping I get to come back and, and, and play more crazy stuff. It's good. And what about the executive producers? How was like working with them? Oh, one is right behind you, so be careful what you yeah, say. Yeah, now we're working with with uh, with Mark. He's right there. Let's no, get Mark in the shot again. Fantastic. Jumping, oh, he's like holding his fist up. Yeah, I know. Uh, everything's great. Yeah. How was he like an actor? How was he like an actor? Uh, you know. No, fantastic. He was the best. Fantastic. Awesome. Everybody's great. Yeah, Everybody's it's awesome. awesome. Now I'm working with people like Mark and Spielberg and all these guys. I mean, it's just nothing, nothing but the best, man. Some of the best awesome. people you're gonna, you're gonna find anywhere, you know. And is the character that you do is it a stretch from how you are in real life? Yes. Awesome. See, that's most, the beauty of most, act, definitely. Most, most definitely. definitely. I mean, un uh, unless somebody really pisses you off, then the, uh, the John Pope comes out, right? Then the evil eye comes out, yeah. yeah. I start taking names. And that's the beauty of acting. It's just being somebody who you're usually not in real life. I love it, man. It's great. We are here with Pocahontas. You look like her. She's gorgeous. Well, you know what? Thank you. My girlfriend's daughter says I look like Pocahontas. I take that as a big compliment. It is a huge compliment. Don't they say what something girl, like... Can I give you like a... I'm going to give you a similar name. I'm going to call you Crouching Tiger Hitting Gorgeous. There we go. <laughs> That's going to be your name. Thank you. I love it. She's love beautiful it. so much. I know. I have a ninja star, so don't make me pull that out on you. And I okay. love your last name. I know. It's Bruce Dutch. Boy. It's Dutch. It's kind of gory, right? Blood exactly. good. I know. Blood good. Uh, what is, what is, where is that coming from? Dutch, yeah. you said? Yeah, my dad's mean? side. It's I don't know. It's just the I, I don't I'm, I I don't know. The blood is good. I don't know. It's <laughs> like he was a he was a captain, and I think it was like pronounced blutthut, and then it became blood good. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I wish I'd give you some interesting story about it, but I.